Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 6. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 24 of Book 6. Now in this proposition, we start with a parallelogram, we draw a diagonal in the parallelogram, and then we construct two new parallelograms where the vertex of each of the parallelograms is along the original diameter. And this proposition states that the three parallelograms, so ADCB, or this entire parallelogram, will be similar to this little green parallelogram, which will also be similar to this pink parallelogram. So let's start with the proof. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at this triangle ABC. And since EF and BC are parallel, then we know that the ratio of BE to EA or AE is equal to the ratio of CF to FA, proposition two of this book. So we have this relationship right here. And we do the same thing if we look at this triangle, ADC. Now GF and DC are also parallel, which means that CF to FA is equal to DG to DA. And therefore, if we look at this, we can see that BE to EA is equal to CF to FA and CFA. So these two are the same, which gives us that BE to EA is equal to DG to BE to EA is equal to DG to GA. So let's look carefully. That is BE to EA is equal to the ratio of DG to GA. All right. Now, BE to EA is equal to GG to GA. And if we use the um, proposition that's called Componendo, uh, proposition 18, book 5, we can take BE plus EA compared to EA will also be equal to GG plus GA to GA. So right here, this right here is a consequence of proposition 18 of book 5. Now BE plus EA is just equal to BA, right? BE plus EA is just equal to BA. And likewise, DG to plus GA is equal to GA. So now we have another ratio. BA to EA is equal to DA to GA. So BA to EA is equal to DA to GA. And taking this relationship here and use the alternating a proposition, which is 16 in book 5, we can say if this ratio is true, then BA to DA is also equal to EA to GA. Again, this is just some basic ratio mathematics. So now we finally have, let's look at this, BA to DA is equal to EA to AG. Okay, so we need to keep this information for later. So I've just redrawn everything and I've copied that final ratio right here. Uh, continuing along with the proof, let's just look at the final thing that we did on the previous slide. We had that BA to DA is equal to EA to GA. So the sides about the common angle are proportional. Now, since GF is parallel to DC, sorry, GF is parallel to DC, these angles are the same. So alpha is equal to gamma. So AGF is equal angular to ADC. And similarly, AFE, this little green triangle, is equal angular to the 
blue plus green triangle. So putting this all together, we have that A, sorry, the parallelogram ABCD is equal angular to the parallelogram AEFG. Now, if we have two triangles that are equal angular, so AGF is equal to is equal angular to ADC, and likewise AEF is equal angular to ABC, then the sides about the triangles are proportional. So just throwing them all together, AC to DC is equal to I'm sorry, I said that wrong. AD to DC is equal to AG to GF. DC to CA is equal to GF to FA. AC to CB is equal to AF to FE. And CB to BA is equal to FE to EA. So this all just comes about because these triangles are all equal angular. If we look at just these two relationships, we have DC to CA is equal to GF to FA. Now CA is the same thing as AC, FA is the same thing as AF. So we're left with the ratio of DC to CB is equal to GF to FE. And again, that's Proposition 22 of Book 5. So we also have that DC to CB is equal to GF to FE. And thus we have the sides about the parallelograms are proportional. These Four relationships are just showing that the sides about the parallelograms are proportional. I'm not going to go through each individual one. And therefore, since these angles are all equal and the sides about the parallelograms are proportional, then by definition, ABCD, or this big blue parallelogram, is proportional to GE, this little green parallelogram. So let's start right here. We're continuing on, but this was the last proof that we had from the previous slide. Now we can use exactly the same logic to show that this large blue parallelogram is proportional to this pinkish parallelogram. And so we have that the parallelogram ABCD is similar to the parallelogram GE, and it is also similar to the parallelogram KH. If these two are similar to a single item, they are also similar to each other. So the parallelogram GE is also similar to the parallelogram KH. And thus we've shown that in any parallelogram, if we draw parallelograms about the sides of the diameter, they will be similar to the original parallelogram and any other parallelogram that is also drawn on the diameter. And that's it for this proof.